Uh, welcome to our uh, to our talk, uh, uh, during which we would like to show you how easy it uh, can be to enable tests in uh, Federal Rail, GitHub, and, and uh, possibly many other places uh, in the near future as well. So for the introduction, uh, at the start, uh, I'm Petr Spichal. I'm from the Operating System Continuous Integration Team, and my focus in, is on improving tools uh, and processes and best practices. And this TMT is one of my focus items. The next one is Miro. Hello, everybody. I'm Miro Vatkerti. I work testing farm team, and we are creating a testing system as a service, which is now used for Fedora CI internally for RHEL and also for Packet and our main format run and how it, how the tests are defined. Pavel? My name is Pavel Valana. Uh, I'm a maintainer in Fedora, uh, working for Red Hat, and I'm looking into the adoption on of TMT on GitHub and uh, Fedora CI from a developer's point of view. František? My name is Franciszek Nečas and I'm part of the core services team uh, and I focus mainly on automation currently on TMT. Okay, uh, so thanks guys uh, for the introduction. Uh, let's see what we have uh, before us. So on the agenda, uh, after a short introduction about, uh, into the topic, we would like to give some real life examples uh, of the TMT in action, uh, then some more examples, and then some even more examples. Basically, the session should be uh, filled with, with uh, examples how to how TMT works, how, how you can use it, uh, what you can do with it, and uh, how you can use it to enable tests in an easy way. Um, at the end, we would like to spend some little time about the overview of the infrastructure status, so where, where it's already working and then give some space uh, for questions um, um, and uh, feedback. Uh, also, so uh, as already mentioned, please share your feedback uh, in the chat uh, anytime. And at the end, if we have some extra time, we can we can dive into some a bit of chat theory. Uh, please note that the, uh, in the sketch event or in the chat, uh, I included uh, links to the uh, to the presentation. So if you if you don't uh, if you don't follow or because I will be switching before uh, between the terminal and and the slides so you can you can open your, your, the slides and and check them there. So okay, so let's uh, so that you have nice experience. I turn off my camera and we start with the session. So uh, let's start with why. Uh, so at the beginning there were uh, a couple of user stories, uh, and based on them we we started the work. And these were, uh, I would highlight, uh, I would like to, as a developer tester, I would like to have an easy way how to contribute tests. So there was, it was complex to various test case management tools and, uh, and doing some <clears throat> leaders have to create accounts and stuff like that. Um, uh, then the second one, I want to easily run tests in my preferred environment. So someone uh, prefers to run tests in local or someone in containers on a virtual machine, we would like to support all of them. Uh, if there is a problem in the in the CI, I would like to be able to reproduce the issue very very easily. That's another one. Uh, next one is I want to have a, a, the flexible metadata for tests stored at a single place, so not scattered across multiple places. And I want to be so that they are human readable and uh, easy to use. So here's a um, like high level overview uh, of the of the solution we propose. And this is so uh, store all the metadata related to test execution in one place. Everything in plain text, human readable version under Git. Uh, no external test case management systems. Uh, we chose or we developed FMF, the flexible metadata format, which allows us to prevent duplication. Uh, for example, you have, you have 100 tests and you don't want to store the same information about the required packages 100 times. Then uh, we designed a specification which describes the, uh, the syntax, and the next step was to implement a tool which would uh, which would uh, provide provide an easy way how to create new tests, how to run tests from the laptop, how to uh, enable them, and uh, basically maintain. So that's the test management tool, that's the TMT. And the next one is to enable enable it in the in the pipeline so it actually works. And many of that uh, has already been done. So uh, let's see. So if you want to start experiment, and we, we encourage you, you experiment during the session. Uh, these are the first steps. So uh, you should install the, 
you should install the tool, the tool. It's available in Fedora, so you can do just the install TMT. You get the basic set of features. Uh, there are extra sub packages which have additional dependencies, like for provisioning in container or provisioning in virtual machine. If you don't care about this space and want to have everything, just install TMT all. Um, I would like to point out that um, there is a copper repository. So in order to get the latest, greatest, you can enable uh, PSSS slash TMT and install TMT from there. So you would have the fresh bits there. Also, if you want just to experiment safely, uh, you can uh, use our fresh container images from Quay IO testing farm slash TMT or TMT all. Again, the, the first container is quite small. The second one is a bit large because it has a virtual virtual and uh, virtual provisioning dependencies included. So um, that's for the installation. And we start with simple stuff. Uh, so if you come to a repository where somebody has already prepared tests or has configured tests, the only thing you do is TMT. So let's see. Uh, I'm in WGET repository. I say TMT. Oh, OK, so here's nothing. Uh, I changed to our TMT repository. For, uh, where we have our sources for, 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 for TMT. And I, and I say TMT, and we, here we see. So there are a bunch of tests. Uh, we have nine plans. We are extensively using uh, plans for, for testing things. And we have also uh, 157 stories, which describe the features we want to implement, and they're in uh, different statuses. So in this way, if you're not sure if everything is set up, if everything is working, you just write TMT, and it says, what's available there. And let's start with actually um, uh, enabling a test. So uh, we wanted to uh, make it very easy to enable a test. So you don't need to learn the syntax, the right, the right location for the files and all the stuff like that. So the only thing to enable a test should be something like a simple command. TMT init does exactly that. TMT init uh, supports templates. So if you uh, if you have your repository and there's nothing, you can do TMT init minus template mini minimal. Okay, so now I do TMT and it says, okay, here's one plan. So let's have a look how the plan looks like. So here we have um, minimal smoke test. It can be like this, really two lines, nothing more. And this is this is just enough. Um, okay, so this is for wget and we do a very simple smoke test, double get minus minus help. And um, that would be it. Okay, uh, so what now? Um, that's, that's the example I just shown and the minimal example. Um, okay, so it's time to enable the test. So you just git add, you check out, check out uh, some branch. Let's, okay, smoke test. <clears throat> Uh, you commit, let's say, enable basic smoke test. Uh, you push it to your fork uh, and create this uh, and create the actual pull request. So there should be there should be URL shown here. Okay, so let's see. Open the link. Here we have it prepared. It will be against raw height, create the pull request. Okay, and now wait a bit. Now wait a bit, of course. But if you're impatient, uh, you don't want to wait. You want to try things. So let's see. Uh, we thought that the, the scenario when you come, uh, you want to de develop a component and you want to make sure that the change you did uh, didn't break anything, and then you want to verify. It should be very easy. So TMT run should be the way how to run all available tests. So, OK, so if we are here, I can do TMT run. Uh, let's see what would happen. I will use dry. OK, so here you see, uh, so there will be some discover phase, provisioning virtual, some preparations, no preparations. No test because uh, the driver does not actually uh, do the checking. So let's try actually what, we, what will happen here. So uh, as you see, um, the first step is discover. Discover checks for available tests. 
Uh, here um, we did um, a simple shell discover because we have a single line with a bit of smoke test there. So uh, it, it uh, revealed one test. Um, then the second step is to provision the machine. We, uh, by default, we, want, uh, we have virtual so that you have like full support for full virtualization where you can basically test anything. We could make containers to make it faster, but we, we thought the virtual would be the, the best default because it doesn't affect your laptop, so it's safe, but you have the full virtualization. So that's the default. And you see, okay, provision is done, preparations. We didn't have any preparations. And for the execute step, TMT1 test was executed, but there was some error. Oh, okay. Um, but what was wrong? Uh, so you don't have to run again and um, like in verbose mode or debug mode or something like that. You just run TMT run last. Uh, TMT run last report uh, would show you what happened and it says it's, it's done, but I want to rerun it again. So I place there minus B uh, uh, for, for more detail verbose mode. And here you see, oh, ah, of course, uh, WGate was not installed. So what do we do? Um, CI pipeline will take care of that because there will be a fresh package. So uh, it, will, it will make take care of that. But um, we say um, that it would be good to prepare. So I say prepare, um, how is to install and the package would be WGate to make there. Okay, TMT run. And let's uh, let's see what will what will happen. But uh, until the command is finished, uh, help is your friend. If you uh, want to know about how to how to work with uh, with the tests or which commands are available, so for example here, tmt run minus minus help describes the individual steps. So what discover, provision, prepare mean, uh, execute, how you can report result and finish. There are some additional uh, subcommands login, which can provide you an interactive shell on the guest. You can select plans and select tests, which should be executed. If you dive a little bit more, TMT run provision help, it gives you an overview of the provision methods, which are the help. So here you see, we have connect local, uh, one minute tip and container virtual test cloud. So these five provision methods for running your tests. And you can, you can freely choose what's the best. Uh, you can leave, uh, you can dive even even more deeper. Team turn provision, how virtual help, and you would see uh, the options for the virtual plugin, uh, virtual provision plugin. So, for example, specify uh, amount of memory or disk. Uh, let's see what happened here. Uh, we are installing double get uh, slow metadata fetching. So that would be that would be. Uh, I will be continuing here and describing stuff with, with, with what we have. So. Um, the discover step, as I already said, uh, it will tell you what, will, what would be run. So imagine you come to a report, you don't want to uh, execute the test because it, it can take hours. Uh, you just want to know what will happen or what would happen. So you run just the TMT run, uh, TMT run discover. Oh, and, and we see the test already passed. So that's, that's very nice. And we can see that actually there was output from the, from the help command and it nicely worked. Fine, uh, so second time, TMT run, discover. So what's there? One test selected, uh, some more verbosity. Oh, okay, so that's the, that's the script zero, 00 because it's uh, not very interesting. But let's see what we have, for example, in TMT report. TMT run, discover, let's see. So advanced plan, A tests, another uh, basic, uh, basic plan with 27 tests. Feature score, 10 tests. We have some extra plans for minimal installation and installing gears and pip to making sure this, the, these are not broken. And we also test, have a couple of plans for testing that the provisioning actually works. So some limited set of tests is run against connect, container, menu, and everything. Okay, good. So this is discovered. So now you can, uh, uh, you know how to discover tests. TMC, run discover. You can shorten if, if you are lazy. Uh, plan a name, plan a name core. Okay, so you can select. Uh, tell me what's plan name. Oh, okay, discover verbose. Let's see. So we have 10 tests, 10 tests for the core, features core plan. Um, okay, that was covered. And now for the provisioning part. 
So you can provision, uh, you can, if you, you, you saw, I selected the discovered uh, step and it ran only the discovered step, but you can run all, all steps, but adjust some. So for example, here, TMT run all provision minus minus how container means run all steps, but instead of the default uh, virtual, you run in a container. So let's make it much faster. Our uh, previous scenario, TMT, TMT run all or A. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, provision, provision uh, container. And I will make it faster because I have a fresh federal image. So let's see. And we are interested to, to see what actually happens under the hood. So let's, let's do it this way. Okay, so it's the, in the, the provisioning container is ready. We do the preparation, install the get, do the make. Oh, that was much faster. Okay, so that's that's a, that's that's a way how to go if you don't need full virtualization. If you need TMT run is the default, uh, but you can explicitly overwrite with what's specified in the plan. So you can specify provision virtual. While, for example, uh, I'm used to because I want to test the, the local changes very quickly. Uh, in the in the top hierarchy, I specify the provision is local for for all TMT plants. Fine. So that's virtual. Of course, it's possible to run local. That's what, what I have just just shown to you. And if you have a test box, uh, you can just provide the IP or a host name with the password or private key. You can connect to a machine, and that's about it uh, for the provisioning provisioning part. Uh, now let's jump to install. Uh, for the installing, um, oh, you can, as you as you already as you already saw, uh, you might want to install some additional packages. So you can we have this prepare prepare step, and you can uh, you can use the the plugin install, which can install a package uh, package HTTPD. It, it can enable copper install fresh packages from there. Uh, it also can install packages from local directory. So let's see, uh, for example, this is interesting because you make RPMs, make RPM. Uh, so you get a bunch of RPMs. Uh, okay, some test is running, written. So let's see, TMT, <clears throat> TMT RPMs, no R. So here, here we have the RPMs uh, and I want to test these, these RPMs. Uh, so uh, I would run, for example, TMT run plan core test name smoke, uh, and I would run all steps, <clears throat> uh, but I won't run it in a in a container. So provision would be a container, and it would be image would be Fedora fresh to make it fast, and uh, we do the preparation. Prepare, uh, install, and directory is this. So it would take uh, it would take uh, the packages from the directory. Here you see it checks the directory, and we okay we see uh, not, not much details here because I didn't turn on verbosity. But in this way you, you get you get the fresh RPMs installed on the on the box uh, in the container, and actually it has the latest bits which you have just modified. Okay. So that would be for the install part. Uh, we also support, of course, Ansible playbooks. So you can provide a playbook to, to prepare, uh, prepare the guest by the playbook or some shell script. No problem with that. For the reporting part, uh, you've seen that already. So TMT run plan, uh, plan name core. I can, I can run some plan and it gives just some brief overview, but we can use TMT run last report uh, with different uh, verbosity levels and see some more some more details there. Fine. Okay. Um, now, what's but what's nice? So let's see. So what do we have currently here? We are just uh, still installing the packages. Okay. What a shame. Uh, but I can interrupt. Finish. Finish the container will, will be stopped. Uh, I have some uh, example uh, example plans, and here comes the new feature TMT status implemented by Fanta, <clears throat> which was just recently. So we, here I have this feature, some uh, recent run, uh, recent run, and I want to uh, make a report on it. TMT run. Uh, the ID is this, and I do the reporting. 
and I want to do it like an HTML and I want to uh, open it in a, in a web page. So here we see, here you see there are like three plans and all are green, very nice. You can jump to the logs directly from the web page, which is quite fun. Okay, so, um, and for the status, uh, there are different verbosity levels, so you can you can see what uh, which plan already has finished, or for example, which steps uh, were finished in, in the plan, which is quite nice. So that would be uh, for the report test results. Uh, okay, TMT plan. So far, so good. Everybody, uh, can you hear me? Does it work still? No problems. It's good. Just as you are typing, it's quite. Choppy, I would say that like the the screen sharing is quite slow. So as you are typing okay. fast, it's it's it's, okay. it's sometimes hard hardly hard hard to watch. Just just maybe that okay. one observation. Hopefully the slides slides will will help with with the examples because we have most of that covered in the slides as well. So uh, here we go with the TMT plan. Uh, so the TMT plan is command for managing plans. Uh, the plan looks like this. There's some summary. You define the provision. You define the prepare step. You define what should be executed. That's that's a plan. What you can do with plans is you can check what's available. TMT plans. You can do TMT plan TMT plan list, or you can do TMT plan show to, for example, the core the core plan, and you would get some some uh, some mm, uh, some more details about that. So that's for plans, listing, showing, uh, and we could dive into some examples, but I think uh, let's go Let's go on. Of course, uh, if you want to create a new plan, there's the command TMT plan create, and you, it, it would create a new plan. Uh, there are some templates, so you can choose what, what will be the best way. Some extra features for, for mass, mass pre preparing plans. And now for the test, this is this is probably the, the most interesting one. So if you, as a tester or developer, you want to create tests, of course. So uh, instead of old, ancient, uh, ugly make files, this is the way how we want to go forward. A simple, nice uh, YAML file with support for FML with the hierarchy and, and that stuff. So you place the summary description, path, test, you might tag with some tags or tier. You are the duration of current packages and that's it. Nothing more, nothing more. Again, tests, TMT test, TMT test also, uh, TMT test, test a list. Uh, you can filter, use me, filter, for example, only tier one tests and do such stuff. So that's uh, for tests, test show, of course. And TMT test lint uh, can uh, uh, check whether the metadata are well set. Uh, it has some basic functionalities for now, but we want to extend it. For creating tests, TMT test create, TMT test create test smoke. So if you if you want to create a new test, this is this is the way, this is the way to go. Uh, we can try this in the in the WG repository. So let's see, TMT test create. Uh, it could be Vclip, and uh, it would be tests uh, basic. I don't know something like that. Create template, sorry. Okay, so here we see uh, we have one test and one plan. And and if you look into the in the into the repository for the basic test, you would see that there's the some skeleton for the for the metadata and the big clip skeleton actually. So we can you can quickly quickly start with this with this example. Uh, libraries. Uh, I wanted to mention libraries because quite often you don't want to write the same thing. Again and again, so we have Bclip libraries. Uh, enabling a Bclip library is um, as easy as this: uh, you um, use a require library HTTP HTTP, and in the test you can then use the library's features. So, for example, setting up quite complex uh, um, things around like Apache with all the certificate certificates and putting putting the things at the right place. So you just do HTTP secure start, HTTP install certificate. And it's done. Okay, so much much better. Um, and that's basically it. Yeah, uh, we have. Um, uh, I have an example here. Uh, I created a pull request uh, yesterday, which uh, which is uh, which is enabling uh, enabling this simple test. Here we see 
Uh, this is this is for the double get. So there's some setup, as I mentioned, uh, setting up, starting certificates, creating some uh, test file. And here we do the actual check and it everything works, including certificates and all that complex stuff. And uh, even there are some green results. So scratch build and this git test shows that everything passed and the test actually already had the full log. So that would be about libraries. Uh, we want to uh, make it easy to users to come from, from the old solutions like uh, Nitrate and have migrated the metadata to Git. So we have the TMT test import, TMT test export. And, uh, and uh, for, so, so let's do some example here, TMT uh, examples convert. We would do TMT test import, and it would check out, check the make file. Uh, okay, I didn't do it. Okay, so let's see. So let's see. Okay, so that would be for the nitrate. Okay. So everything imported, and um, here we see some new file, main FMF. It has all the stuff to, uh, imported from from the restaurant. There might be some things you want to you want to remove because this is this is just a test case. But here you see like uh, there's a one test one test which which was imported from the nitrate, and you can you can right away use it. Um, uh, quite fresh support we have for context adjust for those who know test case relevancy. Uh, this is feature uh, which can be used to filter relevant tests. So if you share tests, you have a a set of tests which, which can be used across distros. For some of them, you know that the feature was added later. You can adjust the metadata based on the context. So here you say, when the distro is less than Federal 33, we turn it off. Uh, I have an example here in the, in the test um, discover libraries because I, I needed to disable the test because it runs just uh, too long and it could not be run in, in the same pipeline because full virtualization needed and such stuff. So I did uh, something like that. So the test is disabled unless context how how is uh, set to set to full, uh, which uh, which means that you you provide the context how is full and then then it would work. So TMT test uh, was, uh, let's say uh, filter uh, enabled 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 is true. Uh, it's false. Let's see. So it's uh, you, 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 when you you see the the library. It's it's here, but we provide context. How is full? We run a full. And there is no no test disabled. Everything is enabled. So that's that's how it works. Um, that's what I've just shown. Now for debugging tests, uh, this is quite useful. So if you debug test, you don't want to, for example, do the complex preparation many times. So instead of uh, repeating the provisioning and prepared part, you run TMT, uh, TM, TMT run until report, and then you see the, the result of the test, and then you just re-execute the test again. So this is this is how you can quite fast debug, debug the test. We started to uh, work on some aliases because these commands are just uh, a little bit uh, too long for now, and we want to integrate them. So here, here are some examples of some common aliases which, uh, which, which you can use to to make use of this uh, of this functionality, um, I want to also mention to uh, the possibility to log in. So you can log in uh, actually into into the machine. So, for example, I can say TMT run uh, <clears throat> TMT run provision provision container um, login and finish. So it would run the container. I can do something in the interactive shell. I leave it and finish will take uh, it. It will close the, it will close and and here it does for for, for all the plans. So so I have to I have to stop it now. Uh, you can log in in uh, during a selected step. So at the end of the preparation, you can do some manual tasks, or you can say please give me login if there is a failure of or error. So that's possible. And for the stories, uh, we close close this, this overview of, of, of available objects. TMT stories is used for tracking uh, stories, so the features, requirements, which need to be implemented. Uh, TMT stories uh, lists, so we have, a, uh, we have a few of them, 
uh, we cover the specification as a stories. So if uh, if I was mentioned, uh, mentioned for example, a core um, adjust, adjusting the context. So here's the story, and you can show it. TMT stories show core, core adjust, and here you see the, the 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 things which are relevant for it, and we see it's also it's implemented here and it's tested here. So that's about stories. Um, yeah, maybe one more example. TMT story uh, coverage. Coverage uh, would show you uh, how how are you doing. So here you see, for example, for the CLI, CLI, CLI test uh, area, the coverage is like this for code and coverage by tests and coverage by documentation. So uh, okay, so that would be uh, the overview of what TMT can. And I think the time is to very quickly say that uh, we have this enabled in GitHub. So packages are built in copper by Beckett, uh, triggered by pull requests or commits, and there's a full TMT support uh, quite freshly, and we're very glad for that. Uh, it's supported in Fedora CI, so packages built uh, are by, by the CI pipeline built in Kochi, triggered by pull requests or builds, and we have full, full TMT support, including context adjust, quite fresh, thanks to Michal for uh, collaborating on this. And the rel CI internal, it's also possible uh, to use TMT for testing pull requests and, and builds. I wanted to include a couple of uh, real life examples, but I want to ask um, if we want now to jump into some questions or shall I continue with the, with the examples? What do you say? Miro, is there any is there there hasn't been any question yet? So. I think we can okay. continue, but if there is any question from the chat, uh, I will try mm -hmm. to answer it, or I can just interrupt and we can answer it together. Fine, fine, good. So, uh, so here are a couple of uh, couple of examples. So, um, the smoke test. Uh, actually, we did. Uh, I tried yesterday, and we tried today. So, let's see what happened with our enable basic smoke test pull request. It's open. And this Git test is still running. Okay, so we will see. It might take some time. Uh, so um, the result from yesterday, here you see uh, example of a minimal smoke test and the results and the federal CIDS Git test. It looks like it looks like this script, and uh, it it should it should show uh, what's the content. Uh, we use the, the version or help command there. I used version there, so, so here you see the version. Uh, the context adjust, how it works, uh, it's a real, a real life example on Federal CI. So I uh, use this uh, for request to disable a couple of tests, do some other filtering, and um, it it seems to be working because, because only those uh, couple of tests were selected. We have nice failure here. But uh, instead of running like uh, the 50 or 60 tests we have, it, it ran only, only the, the basic part. Uh, GitHub pull request, uh, just the fresh GitHub from, from uh, yesterday, I guess. Uh, here the results are uh, as, as usual in the, in the, in the bottom, bottom section. So package testing Apple, and thanks to Miro, we have nice, nice overview of XUnit results. Here you can click on the contract to, to make it hidden, <clears throat> to uh, collapse uh, the results. And you can have a look uh, if there is failure for some uh, details for the, for the test output. Uh, so that would be for this FMF example. I just wanted to highlight that it's possible to reference uh, tests from uh, other repositories. So for example, uh, here uh, in the FMF, plan I'm uh, referencing tests from TMT uh, to ensure that a change in FMF does not, does not break TMT. So in this way, you just uh, include a new integration plan. It references the uh, Git repository. It might choose some ref and picks, picks, uh, you know, picks some set of tests and it runs there. So in this way, you can, you can keep components which are related uh, in a good shape still. Uh, here is a, a real life example of uh, LFTP. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was just doing fresh pull request here. Guys are using uh, a test namespace for their LFTP tests. So from the RPMs namespace, uh, they reference 
the, the reference the test here. The advantage is that uh, they can store the tests at one place and then reference them from Fedora, from GitHub, from internally, and, and you, you maintain only on one place. Another example of shared tests is uh, our test for Bash, Dash, Corn Shell, and other uh, POSIX uh, compiled shells. Uh, they uh, they have this uh, set of um, set of um, uh, plans in the test namespace, so it's possible uh, so it's possible to test uh, changes. So if you do a pull request uh, for a test change, you would receive uh, results for for that changes. So for example, here uh, we don't have the good naming of the of the tests, but for all five tests, those uh, those for all five shells, tests were run, and it, it, it gives these results. Um, bind, an example of open source, a bunch of open source tests, internal, uh, previously internal, are now open, and we want to go in this direction. Uh, more so, example of, of success here. And uh, we also support full and transition, so uh, users are still uh, able to schedule new tests migrated to Git uh, using Workflow tomorrow. Also, during tests, are using uh, FMF uh, in the CI pipeline to define how they would be how they would be run. So RPM inspect, for example, does the discover discover uh, step and other provision description and all the stuff. So that would be enough of examples. Let's. Uh, uh, are there any questions? Questions. So if anyone has something, just ask. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, from on, yeah. on the Butai. Yeah. Sorry, you have some question in the QA section. Yeah, on, on the Butai is asking Can I safely pass credentials to test cases when using TMT upstream in a GitHub project? Credentials to test cases when using TMT upstream. Uh, so far, uh, we, we haven't uh, uh, resolved any, any such, such use case. Uh, so I uh, probably cannot, cannot provide here any other guys. Do, do you know any? So, so far, we, we haven't used uh, credentials for storing. Yeah, currently it's not possible, and it's in discussion if in the future we should support it and how it will be done. Because, like we talked with Packet, who is what is basically a GitHub application, where you need to have a GitHub application or something where you store the secrets, right? And Packet doesn't want to take the responsibility. So we are thinking about putting this into the other service, which runs the tests, but definitely we didn't yet even plan on the feature. So if you have these requirements, I guess we will need an issue to be filled maybe in TMT. And I, I can take a look if there is already something, but I think it's, it's some, it, it won't be implemented very soon uh, because the, 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 the number of users are minimal. Can you share more details? What are you looking for? Uh, do you want to, what do you want to credentials used for on tree? Okay, so so I will I will continue with, with like the outline of, of our close future, uh, what we see. So for the next steps, we would like to enable the, the, the context adjust feature in our pipelines. We want to uh, do some cleanup in the documentation and to uh, extend the guide. We started work on recently uh, to add some new plugins like restrain executor, improve debugging and usability, like aliases I mentioned, that, that would be integrated uh, directly in the tool. Maybe perhaps a wizard mode for those who are new coming and not want to like, like learn options, but would offer some, some uh, possibilities. And there's a lot of uh, nice ideas shared in the, in the TMT issues uh, on GitHub. So there's a lot of stuff to do and a lot of bugs, of course, to be fixed. So if you are interested to contribute, you can pick a good first issue uh, from, from the list and start working on that. Or if you have an idea or some you run into back, please, please sub, um, submit it. You can also join the TMT channel or the Telegram uh, room to, to discuss the design. There are links in the slides, you can, you can, uh, you can use them. And here uh, we have links to some of the documentation. So the TMT dots uh, at the reader dots site, uh, there's a TMT cheat sheet so uh, to get a um, brief overview of what's what's av available you can use the cheat sheet it lists like it, it gives some overview of, of of the functions which are there uh and the guide i mentioned the guide so we started to write a guide 
which should help new users to uh, to understand how, how to work with the tool. And we will be, after this first uh, section, we will be providing, providing more. A link to Fedora CI documentation and packet testing farm as well.